This is Rosemary Dijon French Rack of Lamb, and a rack of lamb is generally about eight pounds. There's New Zealand lamb, there's American lamb. New Zealand lamb is a little bit smaller and it's grass-fed, maybe a little more gamey. American lamb is bigger. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you get, but try to buy it Frenched already, which means those bones are exposed. If you don't get it French, that's fine. Um, you can still use it or wrap it or try to do it yourself. Um, it's more about presentation, really. So I'm making this marinade with lemon and um, Dijon olive oil, rosemary, salt, and pepper. I'm making a thinner marinade today because I'm going for more of a lemon taste, but generally I like to do, follow the recipe as it's written, a little bit more mustard. And it's not as liquidy, it would be, it would give you more of a crust if you had more mustard and less uh, lemon and oil. Um, anyway, so we're going to uh, wrap the bones and so you do this because those bones are sensitive and thin and they will char and burn. So just wrap them. Generally, there's a little separation between the fat there, and um, you would want to get some marinade in there, but to, I don't see the separation there today. And so you're just going to uh, mix it up, and if it's thicker marinade, more mustard-based, then it will be, um, you'll baste it on. This I'm just going to kind of put all over with the thicker mustard marinade. I wouldn't put it on the bottom. You can. Um, and then I'm going to pour this, just pour it all over it, and um, some of that liquid's going to burn, and that's going to be fine. The oven is preheated to 450. The um, rack is moved eight inch below the broiler, but you're not broiling it. You're putting it at 450. And um, then you've got this nice crust. You don't need to sear it. Um, it's already done for you because it's so close to the broiler at such a high heat. Take it out of the oven. This was in for 24 minutes. You, you could go rare at 20 or more well done at over 25. And you're going to loosely um, tent it and with aluminum foil. And you do it loosely so that some of the steam can escape because you don't want to, if you do have a crust, you don't want it completely sealed and steam off all the crust. And then you're just going to slice it by bringing up the bone side. And that's just easier. It shows you where to slice it. You won't have as big of a problem. And there you have it. You can serve it with more mustard. You can serve it with a horseradish sour cream sauce. Uh, more lemon, add salt and rosemary to taste, and you can find this recipe at eatsimplefood.com.